Hey everyone, I'm Alex Jeffrey, country music artist from a little town called Deep Here, Wisconsin, uh, which is just outside of Green Bay. Uh, go Pack Go! <laughs> uh, here today to talk about the new album that's coming out June 16th. So the album Learning to Say Goodbye was such a fun experience, especially uh, being newly involved as an artist. I, I had always been involved as a songwriter, uh, but to actually get to choose the songs that I really wanted to put on this album and that meant the most to me uh, was probably the most fun experience that I had. Working with Alex was a blast. Uh, I had a lot of fun working with Alex. This was his first album and when he came to me it started out as just five songs and every few days I'd get a call and he'd go, hey Steve, I got another one. And I'd say, alright, bring it on. I just kept adding and adding more songs as we went along. It started out as a, a five song EP and it gradually grew into a nine song uh, <laughs> full album basically. One day I'd, I'd remember another one, I'd be listening in the car to work tapes and I was like, oh Steve, I gotta call him, I gotta let him know that I want this one on the album, this one on the album. So uh, it just slowly, it was cool to see the, the project just slowly progress and, and come to fruition uh, from what I envisioned and to, to Steve being able to just put my whole vision together uh, in one false swoop, it was, it was just amazing. So for those of you that don't know what it's like to, to see a record being produced. To get this project done, I relied heavily on the UAD platform. APIs, Neves, Lexicon 224, uh, Galaxy Tape Echo, SSL Channel Strip. I mean, every one of these had their own iconic sound and they definitely made their way onto the record. Every track had the ATR 102. Uh, from an artist's perspective, it's really cool to see your vision and your track come to life through somebody else's eyes. The main thing with Steve when we were producing these is, is we started with this really rough demo take of me and just guitar vocal and to see that progress slowly through adding drums and adding uh, bass and all the different levels that he was able to add that really brought the, the songs to life. Um, and in fact, one of the songs that became one of my favorites off the album, which is Seeing Ghosts, uh, I had said, you know, I really want this to be like a really slow feel song uh, tempo-wise, and he was able to take what was normally a faster tempo song and, and really bring it back. One of my really good friends, Zeev, out in California, he was able to put a beautiful piano uh, melody on the track, and, and just Steve was able to, to bring my vision of how I wanted to slow the tempo down to life. Uh, and it just turned out, I can't tell you, amazing. And you, you guys will have to check it out and, and listen to it when you can. So this record was done in two stages. We did all the production here at the studio in Tennessee. We booked out a studio to record the live instruments and then a lot of the other instruments were done in the box, such as like the bass and the electric guitar. There's a couple that stand out to me. Locals Only um, was one that I was actually looking at pitching, not necessarily cutting myself, but when I heard the demo, I was like, you know, this, is, this has to be recorded by me. I don't think anybody else, I want anybody else to have this one. Um, and then another one that stands out is, uh, is whatever, wherever she is, which is uh, a really Matchbox 20 vibe, uh, but, but with a little country flair in it. So Matchbox 20 has always been one of my greatest influences in, as an artist and songwriter. Uh, Rob Thomas is just fantastic. So to, to have that feel in a country song uh, was something that I didn't think was possible until Steve put, the, put this track together. So, so one of the coolest things uh, while recording this album was the Apollo. Once the record got to a point to do the vocals, that's when we packed up and headed for Wisconsin where we went to his family's cabin. Uh, which we use for the vocals, and it has a talkback feature, which was really important. We set up this makeshift vocal booth up in one of the rooms of my cabin, and then Steve was all the way down in the basement. As soon as we got to the cabin, I walked through every room, and I just listened to how it sounded, and we found ourselves creating this vocal booth in the upstairs archway, and uh, it just sounded sounded fantastic up there. So we had two levels to go through and th the ability for him to just be able to talk back to me and say, hey, that line didn't hit right or your, your, your vernacular on this word was not, was not where it should be. The intricacies that he, that he was able to get out of my voice just by hearing it and being able to talk back right away. That was one of the coolest things in my opinion about recording with the Apollo. Now at the beginning of the project, I knew the microphone that I was going to use on him was going to be the Aston Spirit. The Aston Spirit. Aston Spirit was fantastic on his voice. It had this nice, just really warm top end at the same time being really present and it was super musical. Really made his vocals cut through in the mix. I was blown away. You know, normally I would use an SM7B or something along those lines, uh, but the Aston Spirit just really brought out another level that I hadn't experienced before when recording vocals. It was just an overall 
even killed Mike and it made my voice sound fantastic and better than I've ever heard it before. This record couldn't have been done without U80 plugins or the Aston Spirit. It is the lifeblood of the album in terms of how it sounds sonically. So uh, you guys gotta check it out. There's tons of energetic songs and there's also these really nice ballads in there as well. So I'm so excited for you guys to be able to check out my album coming out on June 16th, Learning to Say Goodbye. We're really proud of the songs and, and just the ins and outs of, of everything bringing it to life. So go check it out. Check out Kitchen Table as well, uh, streaming everywhere right now. Um, and then just give me a follow, AJ Free Official on Instagram, all the socials. 